If you're going to move forward in your life, you have to recognize and understand emotions in yourself and others. It's very difficult to notice aspects of ourselves that cause problems and keep us from reaching our full potential if we can't see ourselves clearly. This is why we're here. This is Twombo and you're listening to Tea Time with Twombo. Let's begin. Someone whose heart burns after you. Someone who is eager to hear from you, who stands enamored by every word coming out of your mouth. Someone who knows you through and through, but is continuously surprised by how magnificent you are. Someone whose heart burns, whose heart smolders for all of you, all of it, with your mistakes, with your achievements, with your insecurities. Isn't that what we all want? Somebody that is, quote unquote, ride or die. But the life that you live is the opposite of this, though, right? You take days to reply to your friends because, well, you couldn't be too eager. Or you tailor your replies so that it leaves the reader wanting more or not wanting any more. A seemingly very thin line between the two. It's a power game, you know, one you don't want to lose. Sometimes you're hiding behind boundaries, nonchalance, your icy cool, your gangster, and you feel like your self-worth is up by how scarce you are not knowing that you're essentially choking your vital relationships. But what you really want is someone whose heart burns after yours, right? When will you allow yourself to be pursued by somebody like that if you yourself do not recognize your need for this? And what I mean is, if you want somebody to really burn after you, do you not realize that you're going to have to open yourself up and I'm not just talking about, you know, romantic relationships because that's where somebody that's listening to this might think that's where I'm going. I'm talking about just your friendships, your vital relationships, your friendships with your girlfriends, with boyfriends, with family members. You want somebody who accepts you the way that you are and who's eager to talk to you and eager to listen to you, but you do not do that for yourself or you don't do that for them because you are a hot commodity. You make yourself scarce so people can do what you want them to do. Manipulative. That's the word. Manipulative. You're cold. The world is cold and we need the fire. We need the fire of each other's love. We need the fire of each other's attention. We need to be on fire for each other. And if your world is feeling really, really cold at the moment, I would say take a look around. Take a look inside and take a look at your phone. How are you responding to everybody that gets in touch with you? How are you responding when family members reach out? Are you like, oh, here we go again? Or when your friends write you, you have a designated, I'll answer in two days because can't be too eager. Everyone is a bit too cool for everybody else. And the world is getting colder and colder because we just cannot be bothered. And that doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good at all. It doesn't feel good to be the one that's enthusiastic for other people. And then, you know, you kind of get this like, oh, yeah, maybe I'll see you later reply. It's not good to get it. But that doesn't mean that you should be the one to give it. How are you being enthusiastic about your life and about your friends? And if you want somebody whose heart burns after yours, you're going to have to have your heart burn after other people. It's okay to like other people. It's okay to be enthusiastic. It's okay to be excited. One of the problems that we have as millennials is that we're so used to bad things happening. Look at the news, you know, look at the scandals. We have turned off our hearts and our minds because we don't want to expect anything good because nothing good happens anyway. Is that a way to live life? If you are 34 now, can you imagine continuously living your life like that till you're 90? Never enthusiastic about anything or about anyone, but yet you want the fire. You want to be pursued. But if everybody is standing back and is afraid to pursue the other, 
we're going to keep turning to things that are not good for us anyway. The drugs, the alcohol, the illicit sex, the gambling, because we want to feel accepted and we want to feel loved, but we're keeping that away from each other. How can you be eager about the people around you today? How badly is it going to hurt you if your friend writes you and you reply that instant? I know some of you are rolling your eyes like, instantly? That would never happen. Now, I understand that sometimes you are busy and you don't have to reply to every message immediately. But show a little enthusiasm for your vital relationships. When your mom calls or when you call her, sound cheerful. Hey, how's it going? I missed you. It's so good to hear from you. Use these words abundantly this week. It's so good to hear from you. Oh, it is so good to hear from you. Watch everything change. So, Twombo here, showing some enthusiasm for you, showing some enthusiasm for life, because we cannot live this life until we're old and gray and not be enthusiastic about anything. Let's turn it up. Let's be eager. Let's make our life exciting. Let's make our relationships exciting. Let's show our friends that we appreciate they're in our lives. And who knows, sooner or later, you will find your small tribe of people whose hearts burn after you, who are eager to hear from you, who love what you say, who accept you for who you are. The people that are not really doing that, they will fall away. You will find that core group of people who would just love to hear from you all the time, who will encourage you, who will help you through. But it's going to start with you showing eagerness and enthusiasm for everyone and let that all drop away. So stop living your life opposite, you know, taking days to reply, can't be too eager, you're cool, you're gangster. Be enthusiastic. Be enthusiastic. That was it. Till next time, this has been Tea Time with Twombo. Don't forget, share this podcast with anybody that you feel needs it. Spread the love. Thank you.